in our class. Okay? So once again, I would like to warmly welcome you to our computer class. Here are um, some motivation activities before we start. So I would like to ask you questions about science. Do you love your science subjects? Oh, really? Is your teacher in science? Who's your teacher in science? Sige nga, who can remember? Yes, Shaya, sino teacher? Miss Dana. Ah, si Miss Dana. O, sige, let's try to see if you have learned the lessons that Miss uh, Miss Dana taught you. Okay? O, sige, my first question is this. What part of our body lets us or allows us to see? Sige nga. What is that? Yes, Gavin. Eyes. Very good, it's our eyes. How about this? What part of our body lets us or allows us to hear? Yes, Gabriel. Ears. Very good. It's our ears. How about this one? What part of our body lets us smell? Yes, Eliana. Nose. Very good. It's our nose. Next one. How about this? What part of our body lets us taste? Yes, Riley? Mouth. Our what? Our what? Our mouth. Mouth. Okay. <laughs> you don't need to shout. Next one. How about this? What part of our body lets us feel? Yes, Axel? Very good. It's our hands. All right. So, this time, I would like to ask, what do we call these parts of our body? Sige nga, who knows um, the general name for all of those body parts? Oh, talaga. Sige, let's uh, see if Axel knows it. Axel? Anong tawag dyan sa mga body parts na yan? Aha. Uh -huh. oh, sige, let's try to ask Dennis. Dennis, what do we call those parts of the body? I. <laughs> That's not also correct. Eh? Sige, let's try to ask Gabriel. Hmm. What do we call those parts? They are the eyes, yes. ears, mm. nose, mouth, hands. hands. Okay. In general, we call them the sensory parts of our body because we use those um, parts of the body to sense things like hearing, smell, taste, touch. Things like that, okay? How about this one? What part of our body makes us think? Uh-huh. So, let's hear the answer of Hannah. Brain. Very good. It's our brain. Just like our bodies. Do you know what? Um, just like our bodies have different parts or different functions, the computer has also different parts for different functions, okay? So, ibig sabihin, yung computer pala, it's like our body. So, kung yung body natin needs ng rest, syempre, yung computer natin needs din mag -rest. If our body works, our computer also works. And it also has different parts for different functions, di ba? What do we use para makakain tayo? Siyempre, yung kamay natin, tsaka bibig. Hindi naman natin pa rin tumibig yung paan natin para kumain, di ba? <laughs> so that's it. There are also um, specific parts of the computer for specific function. Today, we're going to discuss the main parts of a desktop. 
computer and also to explain the functions of each main file. Are you excited to learn those things? Give me a thumbs up if you are. All right, so again, let's begin the discussion. Our topic for today is entitled, Say Hello to the Desktop, okay? So probably not all of you right now is using a computer desktop, pero teacher does, okay? So uh, okay, let's try to, uh, I'll show you my computer. So that's the screen. Ayan. This is the CPU, keyboard, mouse. So teacher is really using a computer desktop. So probably some of you also do. Diba? So that's what we will discuss muna today. So some of you might have, uh, might not have some of what we will discuss, but um, in the future you might have as well those things. Teacher, I don't have one. <laughs> you don't have what? I don't have like that. Ah, okay. I see if you don't have that, probably you're using either a laptop, a cell phone, or a tablet. Diba? I like that. I that. A computer. Yeah. I'm using a laptop with a mouse. Okay. So, kasi itong computer desktop na to, this is the most usual form of a computer. So, this is what we're going to discuss. Okay? Sige. So, a desktop computer is the most common type of computer as what I've said a while ago. We use it for different purposes. Iba't iba na kuturi yung gamit niya. Just like what we discussed last time nung no, asigunus class natin. So, last week, yung jobs and computers. Aside from that, I have a question here. How many parts does it have? Can you tell what each part is called? Oh, sige, let's try to see. Ah. Oh, how many parts muna are there? That's what you can see. Uh -huh. Yes, Yuji, how many parts can you see? Uh -huh. How many again? Four. <laughs> so there are four parts there, okay? So probably you might not you might not have seen this little one, but that but that's a part of a computer also. Okay? So can you tell what each part is called? Sige nga, let's try to see kung alam niyo tawag sa mga yan. Oh, Alexandra. Can you give one? What? Monitor. Monitor, that big box. Um, just like your TV screen, it's called monitor. How about the others? Yes, Dennis. We also have... Come keyboard. again. Very good. Keyboard. That tray-like structure there which has so many letters and numbers and signs that's called keyboard. How about Shia? Mouse. Mouse, that little thing there. <laughs> that uh, you cannot almost notice, diba? So that's the mouse. And the last one, the last part, what is that? Yes, Gavin? CPU. Very good. That's the CPU, the big box beside the monitor. All right. Before we go deep into discussing the functions of those parts of the computer, I have here a simple discussion of how they are used now. Okay. So inputs, process, and outputs. What do we mean by that? Okay. We'll try to discover. Ano ba ibig sabihin ng input? Ano ibig sabihin ng process? Ano ibig sabihin ng outputs? All right. Oh, sige. Let's begin with input. Okay. What is input? Axel, can you read? Um, unmute your mic first. Okay. Okay. 
Okay, thank you so much, Axel. So, a computer can accept data from the user. So, who's the user? It's you, the one who manipulates the computer. So, sabi dito, yung input daw, yung inilalagay mo na data sa computer. Okay, so we have devices from those um, parts of the computer na ginagamit natin for input. Na kaya, we'll know what are those. Next, process. What is process naman? Uh, sige, kindly read, Eliana. The computer will work on the data we input. It, it will process right. the data. All right. So, uh, it will process the data. There's also a part of the computer which processes data. Mamaya, malalaman din natin kung anong part yun. Last one, what is this? Output. So, kindly read, what is output, Darcel? Darcel, kindly read, what is output? Okay, it seems like Darcel is having a trouble. I'm muting her microphone. Ikaw na lang muna, Alexandra. Okay, can you read what is output? Printer. Printer. Yes, um, I mean, can you read the definition of output? The result of? Okay. Please continue. Word of processing. Processing. Will be. Okay, thank you so much, Alexandra. So the result of the processing will be displayed. And this is called output. Just like in the picture. Okay? So the output is the picture that came out from the printer. So we can say that the printer is an output device. Okay? So to give you a clearer picture of what input, process, and output means and how does it works i have here an example okay so input an electric kettle do you have an electric kettle in your house i guess most of you have that okay so an electric kettle is filled with water the kettle is plugged into the electrical socket and then the on switch is pressed so that's input you put something into the object and then we turn it on so that it could work. And then the process. Tea bags are placed in that teapot. The water in the kettle boils is also put. The boiling of water is poured into the teapot and the teapot brews. Okay, so that's the process. That's how it works. Okay, and then the output is, and then the output is this. The brewed tea is poured into a cup of tea, a tea cup, I mean. Milk is added and the tea is consumed. So that's the end product, okay? A tea that is poured into a tea cup, then nilalagyan ng gatas, creamer, then the tea is consumed. So that's how it works, okay? Sa computer ganito, this is what computer do. computers do. Okay? They receive input, they process information, and then produce output. Okay, based on what you can see on your screen. Uh, sige nga, what device is this? Sabi dyan, it's an input device. So what device is this? Mm -hmm. You can already see one input device in front of you. And what do you call that? Yes, yes, Shaya. Keyboard. That's a keyboard. Very good. And we have also here a processor. And sabi dito ano yung processor na yan? Yes, Alexandra. CPU. Very good. It's the CPU or the computer processing unit. 
and the output device where it is where is it shown so nakikita yung output what's that output device is called yes ug it's a monitor very good monitor all right so again these are the parts the basic parts of the computer of course um, not everything that you can see in your house in your computer table is here because they are called peripherals. Kung bagay, they, um, the, compu the computer can function even without those things. But these four basic things, I think you will ha um, have some trouble making your computer functions kung isa dito, wala. <laughs> okay, so these are the four basic parts of the computer. So the monitor, the CPU or the system unit, the keyboard, and the mouse. All right? So let's discuss these things one by one. Okay? First things first. What do you call this again? It's the... Yes, Riley? A keyboard. Very good. It's a keyboard. Can you read the definition of keyboard given... A rectangular way that person letters and numbers on it is a keyboard. Keyboard. Okay, so the, the, the rectangular tray that has many letters and numbers on it is called keyboard. Okay, aside from letters and numbers, it also has signs and symbols on it and many more. Okay, that's why the keyboard is really very useful. Okay. And how about this one? <laughs> I think you already have a clue. What is this? Okay. So what's that? <laughs> yes, Axel? Very good. It's a mouse. Okay. So it's a computer mouse. Not that one. Okay. Hindi ito ha. Baka mamaya you touch one of this mamaya. And then you put it in the computer because you thought that, ah, a computer must have a mouse. <laughs> and you try to manipulate it, no? That would be dangerous, di ba? Mapapabilit na tayo ng parents nyo pag ito yung sinabi niyong mouse ng computer. <laughs> Alright? So that's a mouse. So what's a mouse? Can you kindly read the definition of a mouse? Eliana? Beside the keyboard is a small object that sits on a pad of plastic or rubber. It's called a mouse. Okay, so it's the smallest object in the basic parts of the computer. It, usually, it is usually beside the keyboard. So, kadalasan, para madali siyang magamit, katabihan ng keyboard. And if you're using a laptop, <laughs> you don't probably have that. Okay? Kasi nandun na yun sa iba ba ng keyboard usually. Okay? Yung mouse pa na tinatawag. So, um, this mouse and keyboard are called input devices. We input data to the computer using either keyboard or mouse. Okay? Again, when we say input, naglalagay tayo. We put something inside the computer. So that's what input is. So again, yung input devices natin sa basic parts of computer, dalawa yan. It's the keyboard and the mouse. Okay? Remember that. Next, how about this? What is this? That big, that big box there. <laughs> What's that, Darcel? CPU. Very good. It's the CPU, the computer processing unit, or the system unit. Okay? Sometimes this is called CSU, CIS, computer system unit. Okay? Can you read the definition naman of what a CPU is? Please read, Dennis. The metal box about the size of the three fuse boxes. 
is called the Okay, thank you so much, Dennis. So the metal box about the size of three shoe boxes is called a system unit. Ano naman ginagawa nito ni system unit? Okay. So if we compare the computer to human being, the system unit unit is like the brain. This is where all the data processing takes place. Okay. So it's the CPU who processes what we input. And then, saan lumalabas iyon? Dito yan. And what do you call that? Aha. Uh -huh. What do you call that? Yes. Axel? Monitor. Very good. It's the monitor. The monitor is what? Can you read, Gabriel? The box with the glasses play. The okay, the thank you so much, Gabriel. So the box with the glass display that looks like a television is called a monitor. So this is where what we input appears. Okay? So kung ano yung tinatype natin, kung ano yung tinaklik natin, dyan natin nakikita sa monitor. So, para siyang TV screen. <laughs> diba? So, um, kung ang keyboard and mouse, we use them to input data. Ang CPU, we use it to process data. Ang monitor naman, it is used as an output device. That means the computer monitor displays output of the processing. For us to see kung ano yung nilalagay natin sa computer. Okay? So again, let me ask you, what are the input devices that we use in the computer? Kaya sabi ko na kanina, what are the input devices? Yes, Riley, dalawa yun. What? Give me one lang. The keyboard and the mouse. <laughs> I said, give me one now. <laughs> okay, so it's the keyboard and the mouse. How about the process device? What processes the data we input the computer? What is the processing device called? Yes, Alexandra? Monitor. No, that's not the monitor. Uh, what's the processing device? Yes, Dennis? CPU. Very good. It's the CPU. And how about the output device? Ano kaya yung output device na yun? <laughs> na nakikita niyo na dyan sa harapan niyo ngayon. What is that called? Uh -huh. It's already right in front of you. Sige. Axel, what do you call that? Monitor. It's very good. The monitor, right? So to wrap things up, you must remember that a desktop computer has the following main parts. First, the mouse and the keyboard which accept input or which are input devices. Next is the system unit which processes data. And lastly, the monitor, which displays the output. All right? So keep that in mind. This time, we'll be having an activity. I want you to get your computer notebook and then answer the following. Okay? Wait lang. I'll give you one minute to get your computer notebook. Done na? Parang hindi ko nakikita ang kumukuha ng notebook yung iba. Okay? Does everyone have their notebook na? Alright, so this is the simple activity. Okay? In your notebook, right? which part of the computer is described, all right? So that's only four. 
apat na parts lang yan. You don't need to copy all those things written there. You just need to write the answer per number. Okay? Are we clear? Clear na? Do you have any questions? None so far? Okay. Sige. I'll be giving you five minutes to do that activity. And your five minutes starts now. Answers only left here. Is there anyone who's not yet done? Done na everyone? Not yet kasi UG. Sige. We'll just wait for UG. Teacher will just be playing another song. 
I'll be giving you the one minute to finish that. Okay? Something essential for today's class. Goodbye and thank you everyone.